Hello everyone, I am Arbit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pavli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add contacts from your element or form submissions to your constant contact automatically. Now, suppose you are having some type of survey forms or product forms or different kinds of forms on your website on internet. What will happen? The people will come and they will fill those forms. Now it can be a survey form, it can be a product ID form, it can be any kind of form. Now what will happen? The details from that form will be saved into your constant contact through which whenever you want to access those details, you can access the details and you can send promotional messages or you can send other type of subscription emails to your Elementor form submission customers or Elementor form submitting customers so that they would know that what you have in your store in future. Now to do this, what we are going to do first, we are going to make a form submission in our Elementor. After that, the form submission details will be sent to constant contact and a new contact will be created in our constant contact account. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service Pavli Connect which will help us connect Elementor and Constant Contact together. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. Now <clears throat> we are back at our screen, so what we have to do now is we have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly -Pabli com slash connect and as soon as you will do that, you will see that you have been redirected to this page. Now here you have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side uh, so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you. Now, if you already have an account, you can just go for sign in. So I already have an account, so I will click on sign in. And here I am going to click on access now for Pavli Connect. <coughs> and now what we have to do we are here to create a new automation so to create a new automation we will click on create workflow and here I am going to enter the name of the workflow which is Elementor 2 what I am doing I am integrating Elementor 2 constant contact okay so Elementor to constant contact let us just click on create you can name it whatever you want to now here what you have to do, first you have two windows here. First one is trigger and second one is action. So trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action is the window where the final event is happening at the end of the process. So what you will do, first trigger means when this is happening, action means do this. So here our trigger event will be the form submission in our Elementor. So this is the Elementor I selected here. Now I will click on new form submission. Now here you can see I have a webhook URL. Now I am going to use this webhook URL to <coughs> connect my Elementor form to my Pavli Connect account so that whenever I have a response in my Elementor form, the details will automatically come here in my Pavli Connect account. So what I am going to do, I am going to copy this. And then I am going to use uh, these instructions written here. Go to your website inside Elementor. Edit the form you want to get integrated under actions. After submit, add webhook. Open the webhook toggle. Enter the webhook URL you copied. Save the page. Go to the live version of the page. Now submit the form. Now I am going to show you how it's done. This is your WordPress. This here is my Elementor. Let me show you. This is my Mm hmm wait a minute this is my Elementor okay and here you can see I have my Elementor installed here now if you do not have your Elementor installed in this you have to go and buy this form and install it in your WordPress account now I have so many pages here which I can use let it open wait a minute so you can see the, I have so many pages here which I can use as a form but for you so that you can learn I am going to create a new page and we are going to create a new form from the scratch okay so let's do this and while we are doing this let me tell you that Pavli Connect 
कैन टेक सम टाइम इन टेकिंग योर रेस्पॉन्स यू नो इट कैन टेक टू टू फाइव सेकेंड्स और टेन सेकेंड्स सो जस्ट डोंट यू नो रिफ्रेश एनी थिंग और डो नॉट यू नो गो बैक वेन योर पैबली कनेक्ट अकाउंट इज वेटिंग फॉर द वेब ओवर रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो हेयर इज आर फॉर्म लेट मी क्रिएट अ फॉर्म हेयर फॉर्म एंड नाउ वॉट डू वी नीड इन दिस फॉर्म फर्स्ट नेम ओके लेटस डू इट लाइक दिस फर्स्ट नेम ओके लेट मी मेक वन मोर द लेबल इज लास्ट नेम सो फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम ईमेल लेट अस एड वन मोर फोन नंबर आई शुड राइट कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर नाउ कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर ओके एंड मैसेज सो इंस्टेड ऑफ मैसेज आई जस्ट पुट डिस्क्रिप्शन हेयर ओके दैट वुड बी मच बेटर so this is my choice of form you can create any form any kind of form but uh, we are creating this form for constant contact so uh, which means in turn that we need the contact of that person the contact details of that person so make sure you have the phone number field in it make sure you have the email field in it and make sure any other field which is required for the information you have to put it in your form okay like i did this okay now how are you going to connect this form to your pebbly connect account as i told you you are going to use this webhook url so we will co <coughs> copy this and now what we will do let me first name this form constant contact form okay now you have to come here and click on actions after submit now here you can see email close this collect submissions cancel this and now go for webhook so here you can see it is written webhook click on webhook and paste the webhook url which we copied from pebbly connect account so this is the webhook url now what we are going to do we have successfully followed all the steps and completed all the steps now we just have to publish our page or i should say publish our form so you can see our form is being published and now we are going to have a look at it and here in this form what we are going to do when we will fill these fields these fields will automatically be taken into our pebbly connect account so let's do this so first name is arpit sharma email is arpit sharma at the rate gmail dot com contact number is a dummy number which I am using nine eight seven six four five six seven five six and description hi I am interested in one of your products and I want to know more about it. and i wait a minute i should be capital hi i am interested in one of your products and and i want to know more about it please reply me back soon okay now what i am going to do is i am going to send this and as soon as i will send this you will see that the form will be submitted and a new webhook response will be captured here in pebbly connect account arpit sharma arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com contact number description is this and this is the form id now what we are going to do we have successfully connected our constant sorry we have successfully con uh, connected our element or form with our pebbly connect account and now what we are going to do we are going to connect our constant contact so i will just uh, select constant contact here and now what we are doing we are creating a new contact so we will click on create contact and then we will connect 
Now here either you can use an existing connection, but as I am telling you how to do it, so I will uh, do it. Uh, I will go for add new connection, and here I will go for connect with constant contact. Now as you can see, Pavli Connect is requesting permission for the following. So you have to allow it, and don't worry, Pavli Connect does not take any chances with your data. Your data is absolutely safe with Pavli Connect. Okay. Now here. it is asking you for the list where you want to add the uh, contact then email address then permission first name last name job title company name etc etc now how are you going to get this list so you can see this is the constant contact okay and here you have the option of contacts so let me show you and it is taking some time so what can we do we cannot do anything about that so you can see here is our list and the list name is general interest and pebbly now general interest has only one contact pebbly has four contacts so let me open general interest and you can see here michael karas 481@gmail.com first name last name dash 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 now what i am going to do is i am just going to go back and here i am going to select this list general interest so i will go here and i will click on general interest okay so this is how you are going to select the list now what are we going to do we are going to use a technique which is called mapping which will let us take the data from this window and it will let us put the data in this window in these fields so that we do not have to copy or paste anything manually and we do not have to type anything manually so i'm just going to use mapping and i will use my email address here arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com first name my first name was arpit sorry my first name is arpit <laughs> not was arpit because i'm still alive last name is sharma job title i did not use any job title field in my form so i'm just going to leave that blank company name blank Uh, home phone work phone mobile number okay yeah i used the number so you can see this is my contact number you can use this contact number here and now as soon as i will click on save and send test request you can see i have a new contact id which is this one and when i go back to my constant contact account and i will click on general you can see the new contact has been added by the name arpit sharma and this is the detail okay now we are going to try this one more time okay so this let me put it like this swati sharma email swati sharma at the rate gmail.com contact number is again a dummy number 9876746575 let me write hello i am interested in one of your products please let me know when can i have a demo <clears throat> now this is the description box here and uh, this is the description which i'm using now i'm just going to click on send and as you can see the message has been sent the form submission has been done now i am going back here you can see there is no swati sharma here but as soon as i will refresh it you will see a new contact with the name swati sharma will come here and we are successful you can see swati sharma at the rate gmail.com swati sharma is the new contact here and our automation is successful so this is how you can add the contacts to your constant contact through the form submission in elementor and this will be very 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 useful in your business automation so if you want to use this beautiful workflow you can just go into my description box and clone it in your account and 
which means you need to have an account on Pebbly Connect as well. And for that, you have to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So what are you waiting for? Go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to edit in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you